Hello everybody and welcome back to Surfact Collectibles. Today we're finally going to be unboxing this group of video games that we sent to VGA for grading back in March of last year. So just about a year later, 10 months later, they finally sent us our submission back. So we're finally going to see what grades we got on these games. Now these are going to be the big box Atari 7800 games that we highlighted in our March 2022 video. I think there's only four or five games in here, but we also included a couple handheld consoles. There's a Sega Game Gear and a, and a Nintendo Game Boy Color in this group as well. So we're actually, um, there's about five or six items in this. Won't take us very long to go through. Super excited to see what grades we got. Like I said, it's been almost a year. For the consoles, it's actually longer. Those consoles we highlighted, I think, back in 2021, like right at the end, maybe November, December. So we finally got all this stuff back. We're finally going to be able to see what grades we got. So let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we have here. Now, if you guys send things to VGA, or if you don't, let me give you guys a little description of what this is. This is the little cocoon that they send all your games back in. If you send anything to VGA, they wrap it in bubble, bubble wrap like this, and they put this in a humongous box full of styrofoam peanuts so it doesn't get damaged in transit. So we went ahead and took this out of the box just to save time and space. Those boxes are humongous. You know, it would have filled up the whole screen. So we just took out the little cocoon. So should save us some time as well in cutting this thing open. So let's go ahead and cut into this, see what grades we got from last year. Like I said, those Atari 7800 big box games, they're all the absolute games, so we're very excited to see what we have. We never check our grades in advance, we really like to open these with you guys, and so we can experience it together. Hopefully it's a good experience. We'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to just take them all out and set them aside here and go through them that way to get this here out of the way. Put them upside down so we don't ruin the surprise. Okay, there was uh, actually five. Five of the Nintendo, I'm sorry, five of the Atari 7800 games. And we do have a Game Gear in here as well. And a Game Boy Color that they rejected. So it's probably a reseal. We do have our paperwork in here, but we'll take care of that later. Since we have the uh, disappointing Game Gear here on top, let's take a look at that first. This was clearly a reject. I guess they consider this a reseal. So this one here unfortunately was ungraded that's too bad the seal actually looks genuine we're going to look at our paperwork a little bit later on see why they sent this back to us if it is a reseal then you know it's our misfortune but it looks genuine to us we will take a look at the paperwork and we'll let you guys know next time when we resend this see what grades we got now since we're already started with the consoles let's do our game gear let's see what we have here all right, Sega Game Gear. Now this is an 80 plus, so this is a near mint condition. You know, like I said, these Game Gear consoles, incredibly tough to find in this condition. I think this is only the second one we've ever found still factory sealed. Incredibly tough to find factory sealed. You know, people, this game, this Game Gear, this console here, wasn't cheap when it first came out. So if you bought this, you weren't keeping it sealed on your shelf, you were definitely opening this up and playing with it. So to find these factory sealed, oh, this still has a price sticker on it. $109.99, so $110 for this. Super cool, 80 plus. And this is the 1995, they say, and this here has the Super Columns game. So this was the early release. Oh man, this is nice. I remember sending this one in. I thought we were going to get an 85 out of this. We got an 80. Can't complain about that. Still a great grade for a factory sealed version of this. Like I said, you do not see these things factory sealed that often. So super happy with that. All right, let's go ahead and look into our Atari 7800 games here. Start off with the big one. This is Title Match Pro Wrestling. Now, all these absolute big box games, super, super tough to find. Factory sealed. These games, 
very low print run, low distribution. These games do not exist out there in the wild. You know, I think this is the first one we've ever seen of this. Uh, that's why we sent it in. A 75. This here did have a couple cuts in the uh, cellophane. I think it was from the collector that we actually bought it from. I think we mentioned this in the original video back in last March when um, they actually sent this to us. There were a couple cuts in the cellophane. It looks like they actually damaged it when they were shipping it to us. Nonetheless, though, we did get a 75 out of this, and it is factory sealed. Take a look at this. Oh, man. 1989 Title Match Pro Wrestling. That is nice. And it's a 75. So... Happy with that. With all the cuts in the cellophane, we really didn't know how that was going to grade. So we are happy with the 75 out of that one. All right. Let's see what we have here. Pete Rose Baseball. Now this one here looked perfect. I think there might have been a teeny bit of crushing on it, but we got a 75 out of this one as well. Hopefully we'll get some better grades than 75, but 75, like I said, for a factory sealed version of these, still a great grade. You know, these are very tough to find. Like I said, the absolute big boxes. They got, you know, because they are the big boxes, they're almost like PC size. They didn't store very well, so a lot of these got crushed. The paper is definitely much thinner than the cardboard boxes, the smaller cardboard boxes. So these things did not store well. They did not keep well. People did not actually buy many of these to keep in their collections. So to actually get these things factory sealed, super tough. And a little bit of crushing on the front here. I think it deserved a little bit better than 75, but that's what we got. So that's what we got. All right, F-18 Hornet. Now this one here was perfect mint condition. And we got 85 out of this one. So this one here, I knew we were gonna get a good grade out of this. This thing was perfect, nothing wrong with the seal. The box was super sharp, super crisp. What year was this? This was 1988. Man, for the condition of the box, I thought it might've been a little bit later. 1988, 85 out of this. Incredibly good condition. Now this one here probably was one of the better condition boxes. I think we have one more that was like this, this super mint crispy condition. So let's see if we have another 85 out of this. But happy with that grade. All right, here we have the Tomcat, a 75 plus. I think this had a cut in the seal. Yeah, this here had a big tear in the bottom here. You can see it's a big triangular tear on the corner. This is one that we are pretty sure that the collector that sent us this group damaged this it actually looked like one of those hard protective cases caught the cellophane and scratched it and then ripped the corner but we got a 75 plus out of it 1989 yeah 1989 tomcat flight simulator this one here you do see pop up every once in a while still super tough to find factory sealed 75 plus happy with that grade with that tear in the corner, you know, we didn't really think we were going to get a 75 out of that. We were expecting a 70. All right. Our last game. This looks like the skateboard. Super skateboarding. Now, here we have an 80 plus. Once again, super tough to find. This one here, you used to see every once in a while, but we haven't seen one of these in years in factory seal condition. Skateboarding, you know, <laughs> the 1980s graphics here. You can't get any better than that. What year was this? This was 88 as well. So this was a 1988, 80 plus, still near mint, you know, super, super good condition. That is nice. So it looks like we got 185, 175, 270s. Wait, was that right? Or 75s? Oh yeah, okay, we got three 75s, an 80 and an 85 out of that group. You know, for these absolute big boxes, can't really ask for more than that. Super happy with those grades. So there you have the five games that we sent in a year ago. I hope a lot of you guys have saw that original March video. Tune back in and watch this, actually see what grades we got. So please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles and we'll see you again next time.